What's poppin' B? My name is Once Bite, and welcome back to the Torturous. Torturous key? The Torturous key. That's what we're playing. I'm going straight back to back. I'm sorry. I'm going back to back in my episodes. I'm just playing this straight off the bat because I got the key and I know where I'm going. Hey, Charles, you there? Yes, I read you, Alex. Loud and clear. Hey, may I assist you? It just occurred to ask if you knew about anything about this sigil it's uh, painted in front of the fireplace on the second floor landing in in blood looks like sort of resembles a big triangle with what looks like a pentagram inside it and the weird wildest part there's a lot of little symbols and interconnecting lines in it too hmm hmm what you're describing does sound a little like a speaking place certain cultures would have them have them Sites adorned with glyphs and symbols. It would allow elders to hear the voices of their, well, their gods, I suppose. Though in some cases they were other beings. Oh, uh, but I've never heard of blood being used for such a purpose. Typically these were holy ceremonies. Quite moving, actually. Trust me, there's nothing holy about this. Ah, yes, I might have to agree. I don't suppose you uh, hear anything, do you? Alex? Uh, no. I don't hear anything. Ah, jeez. Now you got me spooked even more. I'm going to look too closely to this. Uh. Okay. So this door I don't have the key to. There's not a door right down there. Is oh. oh, no. That's uh, barricaded, isn't it? Is this one the lion key? This one's the lion key. This one goes down. One less door to worry about. Is it? This is also another lion key. What's happening in here? Why is everything shaking? Achieve. Make something of your life. Management approved the animal motivationals. They want you to ignore the rest. Focus, you can... Yeah, okay, that's a bit weird. Move, find your truth. Yeah, okay, we're going to ignore this. There's even a camera in here. Painting. Why would some buy so many? Yeah. There are a lot of those. This one doesn't open, and this one... Is yet another four number keypad. Cleaning products. Two whole shelves filled with cleaning products. You guys have seen some deep cleaning. There's so many cleaning supplies, and I thought my grandma was a clean freak. Perhaps. Though if they have it, bleach could be used more creatively. Creative how? Combined with ammonia, bleach will release a toxic vapor called chloramine. In fact, it's entirely possible. That's earlier. That earlier I was choking on precisely that gas. You think that's creative? <laughs> well, gotta love a multitasker. <laughs> Ignore the rest. Start your chain reaction. Think big, start small. Find your truth. Lead by example. Make something. You can do this vertically and if it is possible. Oh, tape. Don't wait. Roll of electrical tape. Black light. Don't turn on, maybe it's not getting any power. Ah! It's electrical tape. We do that and we can get the black light on. Tape saves the day. I think this will hold. Oh! There we go! Hey, I found a really heavy duty door hidden inside a locker. Hidden door, whatever's inside has got to be worth keeping safe. See a way to open it? 
there's a rotary lock, so like everything else, it's got to be a puzzle. And you're a proven expert at those. Get on it. Okay. Ah. All of these have these on them. The majority of them. Oh, no, all of them do. They want you to ignore the rest. So how am I to know which one goes where? So maybe motivational, so we got achieve, inspire, focus. Or maybe achieve, inspire, hope, dream, and maybe move. Diamond, heart, lead by example is an another diamond. Next level of your life is also another diamond. And then the heart. How heavy duty are these other gloves? Uh, they're, uh, I'm gonna say thicker than any kitchen gloves I've ever used, maybe? Doesn't sound like the sort of thing you'd use to work with acid, then. Excuse me? It's a good thing. It means we don't have to worry about acid as a potential threat, probably. Wait, wait, wait. A potential threat? How exactly, like, I would fall into a vat of acid? How long have you thought that could be a thing? Considering how elaborate some of these traps have been, acid isn't a big leap from poisonous gas. You didn't think to warn me that you thought that may it you thought that might be a possibility? I'm surprised you didn't consider it yourself, honestly. My point is just going by that supply closet as it probably isn't on the table. Probably. Pro you know what? I'm just gonna keep moving on carefully. Twenty five seven. How is that where I was supposed to find that from? That's north. Wait. <laughs> okay, that actually just kind of makes sense. So what? basically they're lining up these to be on the edge. That really didn't make any sense to me, but sure. No safe is apparent. This was observed on both 12th, 7th, and the 10th of night by two different people. I don't mention the meeting in the middle. No, it wasn't. This is unobserved. See us. Oh, meeting in the middle, so it's 11 8. Right? Oh, and that's done. I just needed those two. Oh, okay. That was hard, but yet understandable. Weirdly enough. Okay. I just couldn't figure out that unicorn, and that was it. Well, the unicorn and the other one. This opens now. The planetarium is down. Found a key with a bird on it. I think it's a peacock. We just happen to know what door that opens, we do. We passed the door with a peacock on it when we were w looking for a way out. But yeah, it'll be on my right when I get back into the main hall. That's the one, you should check it out. Got it. Yeah, there was one in here as well, wasn't there? No, there wasn't. There was a lion there. And then this was the peacock key that I'm talking about. Yes. Another door down. Oh, never mind them. Locked in. Wait, what's that? Hi? Oh, this is William. I don't stand there gawking. You're trapped here now, so might as well make yourself comfortable. Uh, thank you? Are you really just sitting here? Are you okay? I was. Have you been here the whole time? Couldn't you hear us downstairs? 
You've definitely made yourself known. It was positively, positively peaceful until then. Uh, peaceful with some sort of giant metal death device around your neck? I mean, I assume that's what that is, uh, but it's okay. Let me... No, thank you. In fact, I'd prefer if you left. Maybe you could jump down. Excuse me? I require no assistance. I can also say it in French, Italian, Spanish, and if you... And Spanish, if that would drill it in. Do please leave me alone. Hey, listen, buddy. No, no. It's a stressful situation for everyone. Deep breaths, Alex. I'm moving past it. Moving past it. Is that you up there? Are you talking to someone? Yeah, some guy. Extremely rude. He says he doesn't want any help and wants me to leave him alone. I want a cup of coffee and a pepperoni pizza. We're all suffering. Bring him down here. That might take a second. The door locked behind me. He's got a scary metal contraption around his neck. In keeping with the theme of the night, I assume it's lethal. That or a terrible fashion statement. Of course he does. Well, I don't care if he wants you to leave him alone. He can't afford privacy in here. He's got to tell us anything he knows. Hey, the least you can do is tell me who you are. Ugh. I must. I'm William Jones the third. You've heard of me? Uh, nope. But uh, I'm Alex. Alex Young the first. So William, you've got a death machine attached to you. Yes, I woke up in this cumbersome thing on. And people tell me I, I have a tendency for drama. Well, so far, every room has had some sort of trick to it. Uh, a uh, a puzzle. If we solve the puzzle, you'll be safe, probably. I see. So far, I have a really good track record. I just need to figure out what the puzzle is and... Stop you right there, young lady. No, thank you. I, what? Look, you don't need to be scared. I won't do any. I won't let anything happen to you. But together we can figure this out, I promise. Yes, yes, very touching. My heart is sufficiently warmed. However, togetherness and friendship isn't going to get us out of here. We literally cannot all leave this place alive. What? What? How do you... Oh, I know. I don't think they'd actually go through with it. But why am I surprised? What can you expect from a group willing to call themselves the Tartarus Society? Pretentious asses. I must have been drunk when I agreed to join. But know your precious puzzle. They left me a note after all. But I'm not interested in dancing around for their amusement. All I need to do is wait until morning. The rest of you can sort yourselves out. Excuse me? Did you know who put us here? What was in the note? What did you mean about morning? Oh, do please stop flailing around. You must know. The note said to drink my favourite cocktail and relax. Be sure and mix it just right. You only deserve the best after all, and if you make a mistake, that new accessory you're wearing will top you off with one final explosive ingredient. Well, screw them and their fancy bloody club. When I get out of here, I'm going to sue them into the bloody grave. Wait, wait, wait. A cocktail? That's it? I can do that. I was a bartender for a while. Of course you were. Well, if you insist on going through with this, Gerard, you can keep me out. Do whatever you please. You might have noticed we don't even have electricity to run bar appliances. So unless you were an electrician in, in that colourful, oh-so-quirky past of yours, do please leave me be. Might not be an electrician, but every room I've encountered so far has had a solution. Even if it's obvious, I'm sure I can figure this out. Look, just do whatever you want, alright? Doesn't matter, just leave me alone. Damn, William, you are one fucking absolute humble jumble of joy. Water filter. And there's a keypad already. What is this? Both recipe cards added to inventory. They must have slipped off the counter. They're covered in notes. Useful, I hope. Good for you for when you've got a meeting late in the day. Refreshing, but not too strong. <laughs> Make sure the customer is not allergic to pineapple before adding. Yes, I'm talking to you, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, fucking Kevin. Hmm. Oh, more books. What a surprise. Fancy bunch of rich guys knocking it back at a, at a bar of some sort. Wait, is that William? And what's that on the floor behind everyone? 
What are you doing? Ah, I thought this place looked familiar. My word, they recreated the whole bar. A year back, I hit some milestone. A net worth of uh, several billion. I'm worth more now, of course. Past a certain point, it's hard to keep track. Sure, totally get it. Regardless, my friends and I got together to celebrate my business savvy. <laughs> we drank the place dry, every shelf. We even slummed it and had a pint of beer. Imagine. How could you not notice they modelled this place after that bar? To be fair, I was quite drunk. The memories of that, might, that night are foggy. Besides, why would I ever expect to see a bar from the middle of London? One I had only been to once replicated. Ugh, now I'm remembering. Tonight I had an ar that argument with Haring Haringworth. Looks like you got the last word and after all, nasty old goat. Oh yeah, Haringworth. Oh god, not Haringworth. Uh, uh, I'm not seeing anything at all. Why are you bothering me? I thought you were work working on the electricity. I still am. I have a feeling it has something to do with the, that painting, maybe. It's too flashy. Oh. Is that... The rug all crumpled up? Huh? Oh, right. Hey, just like in the paint, art saves the day. Oh, wait. Hmm? Well, well, you moved a rug. Trina was lost without you. I'm oh, so sorry. I've thrown a wrench into your great sit there brooding and doing nothing plan. Forgive me for not yet being blown away by your masterful puzzle solving. Look at least at least trying to do something is better than sitting around on your ass. Recluse sitting out there here in blue plain sight, all you have to do is make an effort. I guess if you're the type of person to ignore insignificant details. Hi. I haven't a fucking clue what this is. I swear that load for a second. Oh, I can only see it within the light. Oh, that's why. How's that? Uh huh. You see that? Almost took off my hand. William? Well, at least we're out of the dark age and into the age of electricity again. Oh, hi. Good job, I suppose. Though I keep telling you it's pointless. Now, for someone who wanted me to leave him alone, you sure following me around a lot. Look, if you're gonna, if you're going through with this, can you blame me for supervising? You're playing with my life, young lady. Well, thanks for, to your supervision, the power's back. We'll have your drink and be out of that device in no time. Hmm, confident are we? You remind me of a little, little of myself when I was younger. Just don't get too cocky. In my experience, that's exactly when the universe decided to turn on you. Well, I plan to keep being a problem for it until it stops being a coward and kills me. Next stop, Drinksville. I don't have a clue how that is, how that works, but apparently it... Oh, maybe it's all the yellow. Hello to that yellow, and then that yellow provides power to this one, and then that one goes... 
I don't fucking know. What's with this skull? I'm working as fast as I can, okay? We'll get out of here, go meet up with Torres and put our heads together. William? Okay, gloomy brooding time is back on. Got it. I'll leave you to it. So what's your favourite drink then, eh, buddy or pal? That looks more like this one. Let me make any coffee with no beans. With that water, it's not much use. I'm going to need drinks to mix. Ah. We've got no water full stop, oh no. You know, after all this, that's good. It means something, but what? I feel like this might potentially be a movement puzzle where I've got to move to a specific location. Ah. Oh, wow, it's scathing. These were his friends? Jeez, I kind of feel sorry for him. I'd probably be a little cranky too. Even, he, he, uh, even he, if he is a... What does this say? Wow, that is some creative profanity. <laughs> He's happily drinking gumshaw after gumshaw like some commoner. Night to remember, honestly celebrating 5 billion? It's like watching a monkey dance after being thrown a banana. Ah, weird cover, but these symbols look familiar. You're giving me the symbols, but nothing else. Wait. And then circles, these two make. Is that one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two. Wait, because there's, there's like the yellow points on them, isn't there? So I do... 2, 4... 6... I need that notepad back. 6... Two, three, wait, four, it's three, seven. It's two five. There's no way that's actually the code, is it? Six four seven five. No. Look, I thought this was something to do with like the placement and the yellow points on them. It doesn't seem to be. Oh wait. If you plot them together, the shape they make... Oh, it shapes into a number! So if I go... So that's 
top left, left, and bottom. So, oh my god, no, it's it's a shape. So that's eight. If you do the circle and the bottom right, that makes the shape of four. It's an eight bit puzzle. So if you do the top and the bottom. What does that one make? It makes a fucking Z. No, what? No, it does still make a fucking Z. Okay, what does the bees make? That one makes a three. So it's eight four three. It's eight four something three. So you know what? Eight four one three. Eight four two three. Eight four three three. Eight four three four. Eight three five. Ah shit! I forgot what I was. It's because I didn't write the last number down. What was the last number again? It was three. So something free. Okay, never fucking mind then. Four symbols on the for the journal are made up of two of three, two to three parts. In addition, each square will be used only once. Plus, grid makes one number. You can also hit examine on the glass grid to view two grids. Four symbols on. Made up of parts of one, four and four and eight, making them number five. What? First symbol is made of one, four and eight, making the number five. Oh shit, it is a five. Oh shit. Oh my god, because I'm not thinking of it digitally. Why did I think it was 8? It doesn't connect. Oh my god. So wait. If that's 5, I still think about the 5, the, the 4, right? The second one, the third one is the only one that I don't have. Which goes... Well, it's a fucking 2. It's not a Z, it's a 2. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking two. What is the Z? <laughs> Four, five, two, three. You fucking knob. What do we have here? Whiskey, rum, and apple schnapps. Might as well grab it. Who knows what I'll need. A couple of empties too. Apple cordial and filtered water. The cordial water... but The cordial water... Yes. The water bottle might come in handy. I'll take it just in case. Saying that I do have whiskey on second floor, better not. To know what it is, I should talk to William if he remembers anything. Oh, there you are now. Hey, I've got into the drinks cabinet. Can't do much without knowing what I'm meant to be making. Got the journal, I know you've read it. Right, I didn't think you would want to talk about it. And why is that? It's mostly your friends ridiculing you. Friends? I don't care about friends. I'm not a six-year-old child. Okay, well, it sure seems like what those people were about you upset you. I'm not upset. I'm exhausted, angry, thirsty, and not in any mood to be psychoanalyzed. But just, just finish whatever you're doing and let's get this over with. When I get out of here, I'm going to have a talk with some acquaintances of mine. Especially that jealous bastard Robert. If anyone were to vote me in, you can bet it was him. <laughs> Voted you in? Hey, demo democratic. Yes, well, I, uh, I imagine that's how it works. All this for, for talking to some lady. Barely drunk anything. What? I oh, never mind that. My point was that it mentions me drinking a, a cocktail called a gumshoe. 
think that's the drink. It must be. Whether they hated me or not, it certainly was a night to remember. That's great. Pretty sure I was a gum... That, sure I saw a gum she mentioned on one of those recipe cards. I'll work it out. Uh, if anyone asks for a gumshoe, all you have to do is swap the amounts of coffee and whiskey and make sure the drink is served piping hot. So it's two parts coffee, one part whiskey, one part cordial. Mix a drink, yes. Nope, can't use that. Oh, right. Without beans. Ah, I have got beans. Got coffee, but no water. You got... Oh. Ah. Do I need to... Yeah, need enough to take it from my face. See, it's got bits of... Uh, Kansas fiber, right? Yes. No one's not even paying attention. I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be like a smoothie. Yeah, because I put it in a filter anyway, it won't even come out, right? How does this work? Dirty what goes in, comes out crystal clear the other end. Perfect. Lovely. Filtered water. Then we gotta make coffee. Right, so then. So what? Two pots? Have I got a cordial? Because the cordial's down there. Two parts. One. No. It's not. Is the cordial still down there? One part whiskey. What about the liqueur? And then two parts. I think that's right either. No cordial and equivalent flavor of liqueur is a perfect substitute. No. Oh! Ah, William, do you want a drink? Finally, is that my drink? Took you long enough. You poised in your ungrateful throat. Something I want to ask you about. You knew somehow about the mansion and puzzles, the death traps. But your plan was just to just wait. Yes, I said that. Please pay attention. Right, right, right. It was just sitting around supposed to help you survive, though. <laughs> oh, now I know. I'm not going to like this answer. Well, I, I simply thought once everyone else was dead. Wow. Well, I don't know you all right. I'm a victim too. Can you blame a man for wanting the best chance for himself you can get? I don't know you, and I still came to try and save you. Ugh. There's a time and place for pointless squabbling, and this is not it. The person doing all the legwork gets to decide what is pointless. You clearly know way more about this situation than I do, and I want answers. Now I want you to stop nattering at me and give me a, my damn drink. My god, no wonder people hate you enough to stick you in here. You've got to be the most uncooperative, unhelpful person I've ever met, and I've worked retail. <laughs> My feelings are just in absolute tatters, I assure you. You know what? Fine, take the drink. But I want some information out of you. Oh, very well. It'll get me some peace and quiet in this damnable place. We'll have a lovely chat. But you're not going to like it. Not tracks yet. My drink, please. Fine, here, one gumshoe. It looks correct. I followed the recipe. You're absolutely sure? Ugh, I feel like someone's walking over my grave. Dare I risk it? Do you want to get out of that thing? 
I do, but I also would prefer not to simply die in a different, more ironic way. 100% positive this is correct. Absolutely, fucking lootly unfortunately. For the hundredth time, yes. Come on, bottoms up. We get the machine off, we'll go downstairs and we'll find a way out. We all holding hands in this scenario and skipping too? Not that I have a choice, I suppose. This contraption has started clicking. But why don't you say anything? We report strange noises in our death machines, William. Please lower your voice. This type of hysteria is exactly why I choose chose not to say anything. This melodrama wouldn't have mattered if you'd made a mistake. Cheers. I beg it fucking blows up. Oh shit, it was wrong. Ugh. What? You fucking bitch. What? No, I thought... I was right, no? Well, shame. Alex? Couldn't. I tried Torres. I really tried, but I, I got it wrong in eat. Hey, breathe, Alex. Look at me. This is not your fault. It was my fault. I killed him. You'd not kill him. You tried to save him. The people who put us here, this is their fault. Yeah, I, you're right. Before he died, did he tell you something? Anything we can use? I could hear your voices, but I couldn't make it out. He said, Torres, I think the only... I think only one person can leave this place alive. We'll see about that. I haven't played by the rules in years. So why should I start now? What else? His name is William Jones III. Wait. Fancy bastard with a bad moustache? It looked like he just stuck his nose in a city dumpster. Oh, that is a very apt description. <laughs> I knew it knew this was all connected, was involved in an investigation a while back, murder of a young woman, the killer tossed her, tossed her place but missed the spot, a team found something under the floorboards of her apartment, a journal, real kid stuff at first, dear diary you know, hopes and dreams, guys she was seeking, kind of heartbreaking, William was in there a lot at the end, the way she talks about him I expected to meet someone a lot less, William, when we brought him in, he was a schmuck, but I think he was good to her. He also had an alibi and seemed genuinely rattled. It was one other thing though. Towards the end, it sounded like she met some people through William. Some not so nice people. First she was just complaining about people talking down to her, treating her like an object. But by the end, she was saying that the Tartarus Society was out to get her. A secret society of rich and famous who like to be entertained. If it was a conspiracy, nonetheless, nonsense myself, but some Illuminati wannabes? Some with a lot of power and money clearly pulled this off, and with a connection to William? Well, right now, speculation is going to get us out. Isn't going to get us out. You keep looking? Yeah, of course, whatever it takes, you're still shaky? <laughs> I want to say no, and I move too quickly and almost lose my lunch all over again. <laughs> I don't know what was in that gas, but right now I'm not fit for much w footwork. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. We're still a team, right? We're getting out of this together. That's the plan. Let's take another look at this map. It seems like there's plenty of places you haven't checked yet. There has to be a way into them. Doors are locked for a reason. Got it. No stones unturned. No stupid puzzle mechanic. Unsworn at. Alright, try and take it easy, Torres. Get getting out of here. Call me if you need me. I will. Take care, Alex. Right now, you're our best hope. Oh, I know. No pressure, right? Hey, Alex. You holding up okay? I mean, aside from everything, I guess so. Which just, just thinking. I'm barking orders at you when I can't even get off my ass in hell. Well, I mean, it's not like you've chosen to be on your ass. I know, I, I just also know I'm asking a lot out of you and you're so young, Alex. I'm not that young. Old enough for student loans, anyway. I see people have been taking care of me my whole life. 
parents, my grandmother, never really gotten a chance to pay it forward. No, it's not a bad thing to be loved, Alex. Yeah, but like, this is my turn to help. It's my turn to take care of people. This is kind of all I've ever wanted to do. I just never really got the opportunity. It's not like I'm not grateful and I know you're capable. You just have to remember that you matter too. Oh hey, trust me. Getting out of here with all my parts intact is definitely high up in my priorities. I fucking love her. Right, I'm baffled. Right? Because I am 100% sure I got that right. Okay, shut up. One cordial. Two parts coffee, two part whiskey. Oh. Has to be served piping hot, which means you'd have to add the coffee in last. Damn, that would have made more sense. It had an order to it. I didn't think about it. Wait, the fuck? Queen's body's disappeared saying that. Right, but this is long enough as it is. So. I am going to end this video here. So, Charles? Oh, Charles is still here. Okay. With that all being said, then, I don't know. Let me, let me check. From the gumshot of the fire. Oh. I could put have put it in the fire. So it wasn't that I had to add the coffee last, it's that I just forgot a step. Okay, never mind. I suppose. I knew it had to be piping hot, but I didn't think it that was actually something, but I suppose this game doesn't tell you something for nothing. Ah. Right, well. I mean I I almost saved him. I got everything else right. It is what it is. It's not like he was the, uh, you know, the best person to get out of here. So, with that all being said, if you enjoyed, go down below. That subscribe button. That like button if you enjoyed it that much is greatly appreciated. Any games you'd like to see me play in the future, drop those down in the comments. I shall see you in the next episode. See ya!